January 29th, St. Francis de Sales. St. Francis de Sales was born to a noble family near Chateau de Sales in the Kingdom of Savoy near Geneva, Switzerland on August 21st, 1567. He was a bishop and doctor of the church. Francis was destined by his father to be a lawyer so that the young man could eventually take his elder's place as the senator from the province of Savoy in France. For this reason, Francis was sent to Padua to study law. After receiving his doctorate, he returned home and in due time told his parents he wished to enter the priesthood. His father strongly opposed Francis in this, and only after much patient persuasiveness on the part of the gentle Francis did his father finally consent. Francis was ordained and elected provost of the Diocese of Geneva, then a center for Calvinists. Francis set out to convert them, especially in the district of Chablais. By preaching and distributing the little pamphlets he wrote to explain the true Catholic doctrine, he had remarkable successes. It is stated that he converted 72,000 Calvinists. At 35, he became Bishop of Geneva. While administrating his diocese, he continued to preach, hear confessions, and catechize the children. His gentle character was a great asset in winning souls. Besides his two well-known books, The Introduction to the Devout Life and A Treatise on the Love of God, he wrote many pamphlets and carried on a vast correspondence. For his writings, he has been named patron of the Catholic press. His writings, filled with his characteristic gentle spirit, are addressed to lay people. He wants to make them understand that they too are called to be saints. As he wrote in the Introduction to the Devout Life, it is an error, or rather a heresy, to say devotion is incompatible with the life of a soldier, a tradesman, a prince, or a married woman. It has happened that many have lost perfection in the desert who had preserved it in the world. In spite of his busy, comparatively short life, he had time to collaborate with another saint, Jane Francis de Chantel, in the work of establishing the Sisters of Visitation. These women were to practice the virtues exemplified in Mary's visit to Elizabeth, humility, piety, and mutual charity. They at first engaged to a limited degree in works of mercy for the poor and sick. St. Francis de Sales took seriously the words of Christ, Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. As he said himself, it took him twenty years to conquer his quick temper, but no one ever suspected he had such a problem. So overflowing with good nature and kindness was his usual manner of acting. His perennial meekness and sunny disposition won for him the title, Gentleman Saint. He is the patron saint of authors, deafness, journalists, and writers.